Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the quarterverse chance for FC Morris. But before that, if you want updated XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button. It's down below. Hey guys, so what do we have here? So we have a quarterverse chance increase again for extremely stubborn Morris. So the maintenance will begin, I think, tomorrow. So it will be up until February 1st. So a Monday as well. So a week for you to pull in Morris if you want to. So he has now a higher probability to be pulled for. So in terms of his design, it's similar. No changes in design. But I bet his skills have been... Have been... Actually been, you know, upgraded well. So for skill changes, you have two. Your passive skill changes... Um, called tempering and steel weapon has been added so he actually has his original um, what he called this passive which is counters upon taking damage he also has heart strike because he's a banga family member so heart strike level one two and three so you need to deal damage to to that same uh, that same hero which has heart strike to trigger the different levels as well and um, here is his two new skills which uh, which will be uh, included in the update or in the upgrade so tempering when the battle starts increases attack of all allies by 10 percent again that's 10 percent that's that's not that much but if you add to it his steel weapon triggers steel weapon once a round when the attack hits so it's a buff increases attack of all allies by 20% for 4 turns so this is going to be significant with these these two actually giving extra extra buffs to the attack of all allies one to, one thing that you should take note is that Morris hails from the Nombe and again who's from the Nombe it's Rachel and with FC April there and with Morris, you can actually create a team which really, you know, increases your attack exponentially. With uh, with FC April, you get um, the increase in, in the damage taken by your opponents. With him is the increase of attack. So just put two and two together. You'll, you'll definitely deal a lot of damage now, now that even Morris is here. I'm just saying this as a hypothetical team probably a team that you would like to try out um because um you know he's ready with lenombe and he could actually be you know he could only be better he could go better or or could just be could improve your team um more once he's there if you won't use him for for your main pvp team you can actually use him in in your tag teams which is actually also good because um currently the the meta for tag would be you have there your your um greenland team you have your also your what you call this Estoris, you have your wasted red and now you have the nombe so but this actually th these passives take the nombe to a different to another level as well so my only you know my only um sentiment here is um if you have the nombe you can actually pull for him but if you don't have the nombe um you can still pull for him he's still good in in pvp con up uh, sorry in pve content i've used him in in what you call this in almost all of um my pve content before the chapters before when i was starting so he is really a good car a uh, good hero to have so let's move on to his um i think he has another uh what do you call this upgrade so his s1 it's master's tempering so instead instead of having him at two mana mana cost now he is at three so the effect also increased the buff this also is another buff so it increased from 20 percent to 28 percent the turn duration is still the same so again another buff to hurt your enemies really hard so i'm sure that um some of you guys are still skeptical about this 
um i would be too i think we should you know consider play testing him first but based on the amount of buffs that he gives your team and if he's also buffed by buffed by Lenombe signature force i don't think you could go wrong with him plus his s1 this skill master's tempering is also it also depends on how big his attack is so on it depends on how you scale his attack uh the the damage would be so again um signature force can help you along the way um improve more at attack stat as well so let's move on so his s2 hasn't changed so it still deals 1050 percent damage to one enemy so it's still burst five but this is actually a good skill to have um to eliminate you know um tankier enemies to deal more damage so again um his kit right now um increases attack it's an over overload or overdose of attack increase attack really um one of the first bangas that I've enjoyed using was actually Morris, um, hands down, until I got the rest of the, the, the banga family uh, after, after Tantalo. So he, he was one of the, the, the members of the banga family that I enjoyed using uh, before, uh, before Tantalo came out. So he is actually viable, very viable for PvE now, uh, more viable in PvE and for PvP. You can consider him if you're using again Lenombe. So, um, for those who don't, you know, who haven't, um, who haven't had, uh, who haven't built their Lenombe team, you can still pull for him, but it's not really a priority for you. More on those who have Lenombe heroes or focusing on Lenombe as a nation for their heroes. So let's move to his. Uh, oh, sorry. He's a Black Fate core as well, so the chance that the the chance for you to pull him is 0.7%, which is a higher percentage. So you can actually pity pull him for 19 core mileages. Um, if you have extra, you know, um, zest, you could really pull for him if you need a attack uh, a attack buffer uh, that can support your team. He can actually be used in any other team. It's it's not only the Nombe, but he will be he would be scaled more when he's with with Nombe. It's 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 more easier to scale his attack stat uh, when he's with the Nombe. Okay, so for his exclusive weapon, Metallic Breaker, um, the usual weapon. So obtain more his attack plus thirty. So he know, now has plus 30 and um, Morris uh, equip C CP or combat power is plus 3000 and additional stat bonuses as well. But I'm not really um, recommending that you pull for his weapon. Um, it's just that you have a similar um, chance for it to drop than the Fate Core. So use your sets for the Fate Core, not so much for the weapon unless he's really your favorite character. So that's just it. So my final thoughts on Morris. Um, very good all-around buffer. Now he's more, you know, I think he stands out of of all the, um, the hero buffers out there because of his overload or overdose of, of buffs, particularly in his passive and S1. So... I think you should give him a try if you have XSS. But if you have Lenombe as your hero, as your nation priority, I think you should pull for him. Um, he's he's actually good with all the additional stats that he gives you. Okay, so write in the comment below, guys, if you're going to pull for him, if you're not going to pull for him, if you're if you're adding him to your Lenombe uh, team or or a group of heroes. Um, please, sorry. Please let me know in the comments below. Um, also, uh, what do you call this? Please do subscribe to my channel. Um, been putting out uh, consistent content for Exos Hero, so it do it does really help my channel if you do subscribe. And you always stay safe. Take care of everyone. And this is the Warden, and I'm out. <laughs>